This video is not sponsored by any entity or anybody or any business. Um, I just wanted to show you guys because I thought that would be helpful. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hana. Thank you for returning. In today's video, I'm going to show you our new way of doing mind transfers. I also want to say thank you to Wells Rehab and Wellness. They are a great company to work with. They are also the company that we use to help us learn the proper way of or how to transfer me. Wells Rehab and Wellness is a at home physical therapy place. Doing it at home is a great option for to learn how to transfer yourself in your environment. This video is a tool for people that cannot or do not have the resources to get physical therapy at home like we did. These are the transfers that we came up with with my capabilities and what we had in mind for me. These won't work for everybody. Um, your needs could be different than mine. Who, who knows, but at least these will give you some tips and tricks um, to hopefully navigate the difficult um, process of figuring out new transfers because boy is that difficult. <laughs> Again, I am not a medical professional in any issue, way or form, but we did get an actual physical therapist to help us with this. So, and also take what you will from this video. Um, every situation is different. What works for me may not work for you. So, with that being said, we're going to jump into this video. This is actually aerobic step for people that do that and this is great because then you can take out the bottom and adjust it so that you can match the height and also we do use this for um, two out of the three transfers that we show you today this has helped us so much just this is a great tool and also it's very portable so if you have to take it to other places, it's not going to take up a lot of space. So, like you do, because I don't, in my car, when we go somewhere that, when I have to leave the house for an extended amount of time, um, there is a lot of things to bring, and not everything is wheelchair friendly, unfortunately. So, with that being said, this is a great tool. There are small tool levels so that you can um, fit it accordingly. With that, I'm going to roll the bathroom transfer. So, let's see, for getting off, oh, you, you can do it that way, but I find it easier to do it this way. Right? And, and it doesn't matter for me either, so then I just go with whatever. Yeah. Um, at the time works for us. And it depends on how bad I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we go so. super fast. And now I just put up the these little plates. And then move on. Right. You, you undo the belt. You ready? Slide out. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And you take steps towards the bar. Mm -hmm. She can do side steps. Mm -hmm. She can't do backwards, but she can do side. <laughs> yeah, and forward. Well, and forward, yeah. <laughs> and then we would um, pull down everything and uh, lift up the lid and put her on it. But um, mm -hmm. obviously for demonstration, we are not doing that. Mm -hmm. And then this is what we do afterwards. I pull up her pants and stuff and I set her back on the toilet with the lid shut. Okay, now this is what we do 
After the bathroom. And we are back. <laughs> Set her up. You, uh, we pull, we take the, the, the washlet takes care of all that. All I have to do is stand you up and pull up your pants. Why? And okay. come out and put you on. I put the lid down and I put her on the lid. Ready? You're a little crooked. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Oh, and guys, this seat is a little, um, tilted forward. Yeah, that's the bad thing about this. So, it's tilted forward. Which is like kind of against. So the lid is tilted forward. Kind of against you, but yeah. we'll make it work. Then I have, understand. yep, so we do this little stuff mm -hmm. and I kind of make sure her knees are bent. And I'll try to um, put them in a and not fall so too. Oh, that's a good idea. Because this has been a really great thing. And then I kind of could do this. Yeah. I sometimes I shift this around, as you can see. And I make this up. The stuff fits, fits perfectly. Mm -hmm. Here, in my hand was right there, guys. The stuff fits, fits perfectly in between her wheels. And then I move back the joystick to give me a little more room in here. I have to count. Ready? One, two, three. I'll go up and up. And I use my leg to block her leg. And then... Oh, we knew that. that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> We're very excited because that was a good one for the video. Okay. And then I... So I this is my shower chair and I've talked about it on twice twice before on my channel. This is our new way of transferring and we use the um the stuff that you've seen previously. <laughs> we got this from eBay. This shower chair, one, it's smaller, and two, it can actually top back like my mom like we showed you in the transfers. So, um, I will insert that transfer right now. I'm gonna put the uh, brakes on it. I hate doing the brakes. And I hate listening to them. They're really hard to do. They're actually very loud. <laughs> when you do them. That's one of the um, not that's one of the negatives with this. I so, did forget to normally before I bring the chair up. I normally put her feet up here and I forgot to do that this time. So we're just going to do it when we get. <laughs> so I lift up her legs. We're going to count to three. One, two, three. Oh, good job, Anna. Lift up her legs. Put them on the block. And I'm just going to a little bit to try and make her legs be where it's easier for her to get up. Okay. This one needs to be back. A little more. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just going to count. Ready? I put one, that up to make it easier. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. And then in the shower chair, if she's got her feet on the footrest, so at least she has support. And then I just kind of adjust her. One, two, three. And then um, I can tilt it back if we need to use gravity at all. And then or buckle, no. Yeah. Let it buckle you in. Now we undo the brakes. Here we go. I know, super loud. Mm -hmm. Me and these brakes are not friends. <laughs> there we go. And then I do. That there. And then she can roll in the shower. And now we'll do transfer you at the end of, let's pretend we're at the end of the shower. Yeah. 
And this is a nice spot. She's usually sitting by the heater here. The wall um, heater. I love my wall heater. You do love your wall heater. If you guys want to go back and watch my um, remodel series, I'm talking about why we got that. I'm not going to talk about it in here because I'm little. We still love it. We still love it. <laughs> so, if you're wondering that, go watch that. I'll link it in the cards above. Yeah, one more, one more break that we gotta get done here and I'm struggling to reach it. There we go, because of where it's at. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring this forward, sorry. Just, just for a bit. Now I position this as close as I can. So first I gotta lift up this arm. I mean, this arm's gonna be lifted up. She's still buckled into that. Yep, right here. And then I take off, I take this foot thing off. You take off the foot plate that's ever nearest to the place that you're... Yeah, the one that's next to you. Yeah, next to it. Yeah, there you go, nearest to me. I'm just still going to scoop this up next to you. Okay. Move your hands for a minute unless yeah. you're making it hurt for me. Sorry. There we go. I was learning a nice seat cushion. <laughs> it's all messy. And then I moved the block so it's kind of more towards the wheelchair a little bit by her shower chair so that she can get that. And I take this thing off the shower chair. And then we do that. Unbuckle her. The important thing is to position her feet accordingly on the block. I should probably have you pull over that smidge. You're blocked. I know I'm blocked. I don't care. I'm just dragging it to make you. I'm just saying. I understand. Okay. On the count of three, you count. One, one, two, three. Sorry, that, was that was pretty good. Stands up, gets in there. Put that foot plate on. Belt her in, even though she's not, she'll fix it, we'll fix her in a minute. You gotta bring that usually, uh, usually I'm tilting myself there. Now you can tilt yourself back. And as you're tilting yourself back, I put on the foot plate again. A little trickier this time because I have to do it where the there. There we go. Not locked in. And again, gravity is my best friend in this circumstance. No? Because I use gravity and I'm pushing something back. And now I can release these brakes and move this chair out of the way. Uh, and that is our transfers. Okay, so this is a kids from. Um, Matt and we got a couple of that because it's the things that they look like puzzle pieces but they can make like a, a bigger map than um get also all all I'll, I'll insert a bigger picture of what it looks like um all put together so you guys kind of can get the concept. So the idea was I I wear lots of slippers and socks. So when we do transfers with slippers or socks, we um have to put this down put this down so that I don't slip around because it's very slippery and if I slip when I slip I do not have, I cannot bear weight as I should. So, 
this was our solution. So it was foam puzzle pieces. So I just wanted to add that little um that little tip because it took us a minute to figure out what will help me stand up um and bear some weight. So that was a a tip for you guys. So this is probably my favorite tool that we have used. And you guys have seen me talk about it before. Um, my trip trip chair. And I love my trip trip chair. I loved it 15 years ago. I love it now. Um, it gives me, it gives me a change of pace and, and an opportunity to get me out of my wheelchair. We got another one because um, because of my eye level and things like ha lots of changes were happening with that because um, this chair is taller than my old chair so it no longer fits underneath ta the table and if you guys want to hear more about that we can always link that in the cards um, up above so that you guys can keep on that but yeah I love my trip for sure. We got it from that idea from our own OT. And what is also great about your trip, 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 trip that I wish we knew 15 years ago is it can be, it can grow with you. So it goes from a baby to an um young adult to adult. So it grows with you. So you only have to buy it once if, if you know about that. But unlike us, we didn't know about that, so we had to buy it again. <laughs> so, and they're also on Amazon, so that makes that easier. But yes, I love my troop treasure. I love all these products. Um, but yeah, so that is how. <sighs> All the changes we made with um, my transfers and all of that, and well, I'll actually insert my transfer to my transfer right now. And so first, I flip up her arm and get it out of the way. Then we undo the buckle, mm -hmm. and you do the side. Just one side is the only arm I move. And both feet go. Right, relax. Relax. I'm fine. I'm also trying to be healthy. My point is you don't need to. So both feet go on one plate. Then we lean her forward. Oh, and I have this chair lined up so that we can go. Yeah. Way. And she bears weight on her legs. One, one two, two, three. Oops. And then I move her feet. We go down. That one's a great, but... Mm -hmm. It is what it is. It was, we, we have, it's like everything else. We have better ones. And I always have her belt handy. We are buying, because I know we get scared. And, and then I put that on. <laughs> so I put that on, and then we scoot her up to the table. But now I'll do the reverse of that and put her back in her chair. So and then we take this off. I'm going to move this just a smidge. Mm -hmm. I got you. I know. Okay. Now we're going to move your legs a little bit towards that. How's that? Ready, One. Mom? Mom? I can't remember. Okay. One, two, three. That was better. Yes, because I found it wrong. Okay. Hippie. Mm -hmm. Hippie. And we do this. This part. There we go. And that's that. That's that transfer. I do have um bed rails on my bed currently, but we'll insert a picture. So I'm not actually gonna show you guys how we do it because I'm not comfortable with them or like how to do them myself yet enough to show you on camera. Okay, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. And also, 
if you guys have any comments, questions, or video suggestions, put them in the comments. I do read them. Um, who knows? They are. They may even become a video one day. So, with that being said, I will. I will be happy to answer any questions at all. Thank you for watching, and remember to keep on rolling. Bye.